So now that we're uh, doing our podcast, Leong, it's been two weeks since we did our giveaway, and I'm sure you have chosen the winner for our No, last I have week. not. This time, I have not chosen the winner. Can oh, you you're doing it live okay. now? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we are. We are on. And you know what? But he will. He'll choose it, and we'll put it down below. That'll force people to look. You got to watch, right? Well, you should wait till I'll, the end, and then they got to. I'll watch. just, I'll just, I'll put it across the screen. Um. So now we're gonna find out from Leon. Hey, Leon, how was your visit with your mom in New York? That was awesome. That was awesome. And, I mean, you know, just spending time with family members is always great. And yeah, I mean, at first I didn't really care years ago. Then this was the first first Christmas I've been with them since for like 10 years. So usually mm. because Thanksgiving and Christmas is so close, I spend Thanksgiving with them. And then I, I'll, I'll spend Christmas and New Year's down here. But then this year I was like, you know what? Just go back up there for Christmas. So it, it was good to, to spend time with them. But it's like I hate the fact that these two holidays are so close together. All right. I wish it was I, I, I wish it was a little bit closer or further apart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you went there for Thanksgiving too, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, then came back and went back for Christmas. But you, Christmas, you were there for Christmas. right through New Year, right? Yeah, Christmas and, yeah. and New Year's. Yeah, yeah. 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 You were yeah, there for a while. And Did it's you get to like, go to it's kind of like weird because like since I haven't been there, I, I kind of wasn't well. I was there for Thanksgiving, but I don't get to like go into Manhattan. I usually spend my spend time in Queens, but damn, my thing's expensive. I'm just like wow, but you know it's a holiday, so I'm sure every all the prices are up anyway. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. So if you go to Manhattan from Queens, do you get on the subway? I take a subway. Yeah. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, I, I mm-hmm. always wanted to get on the subway so I could see if I could get, get my ass kicked or something. You know, <laughs> what's gonna kick your ass? Do you know how gentrified New York City is now? But you know what? I'm gonna bring my Fenris with me. Yeah, you'll be totally arrested for that one. Oh, they don't arrest anybody in New York City, so don't worry about that. Oh, oh. You mean I'm not Asian or a minority, so they don't arrest me? Is that what they're saying? Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> so oh, you don't God. get arrested, but I do. Okay, hold on. There you go. Hey, I could go. I could reach two foot over and turn on the ceiling fan with this. So this is kind of like an elderly person helper. Like, hey, I need to get that pasta off the top shelf. Ah. It pours right in my bowl. Well, it cuts through coconut well and all that. Oh, and for you guys that didn't see that coconut video, uh, I saw it. Oh, my I saw God. it. I would have, I would have wanted the coconut water to drink first before you go slamming on the coconut. Was there water? I got a bunch there? more of them. Come on down, whenever you want. Really? Oh yeah, you got a bunch. I had about thirty of them. I cut out of my tree. You know what? How come they're not heavy with the husk and everything? Or does that happen? That's yeah. That's later. I cut them down so they're not fully ripe. Oh well, that's so they wouldn't be that edible. No, no, I wouldn't eat them. But they still have the water in them. If you look at the video right when I cut it, you see it all splash out. Yeah, you yeah. want uh, coconut water. Yeah, you want. Yeah, the oh, water. I thought you that's, spilled that's some the of your beer. We're gonna get the water out of it, right? Yeah. yeah. So when yeah. they're so green. Right. You know, and, and they don't have a lot of pulp in them. That's like the right. best water. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's the best? Yeah. 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 That's, oh. that's when it's yeah, all it gets like a little funky light. when they're older. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You let me know the next time you have a whole bunch, I'll drive on over. I don't know. I actually just threw about 20 of them in the trash can. I kept about 10 of them. So come on up. <laughs> trash is tomorrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> From the east coast of Florida to the west coast of Florida, in the trash can, pulling the coconuts out. Well, I I think the interior milk will still be fine, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, tell him to 
tell this lazy guy with the beard to pull him out of there, put him in a box, and send him to you. Yeah, I could do that. Probably cost uh, more to ship them than they're worth. They're yeah, heavy. They are. They, they would Probably. Mm -hmm. They would be. Mm. Yeah. They'll keep, though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because yeah. yeah, I'm going to be over at Sean's here in about another week. So, yeah. Yeah, when the weather I mean, I'll bring them this far back. Yeah. How, how many do you have on, on in your on your property now? Well, I'm I'm down to one. I had three, and I lost two of them in the hurricane. Oh my god! I only got one now. Okay. And I used to have a mango tree. I lost that. So. Oh my god! Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's well, nice. at least uh, two of us have good taste in t-shirts. You know, like love them knives, love them knives. Yeah, I like yours better, actually. You gotta Did make those really? again, huh? That's nice. I like that long sleeve. I mean, I, this red is, and black. I mean, I've got this and several other shirts that have just been sitting in the closet unused for years. I mean, they were going to be like giveaways or whatever, but Please, you got any more of those long sleeves? Grow out your beard. This is the this is the only one, and That's I just it. pulled it off the hanger just now. Of I never wear it. Of course, uh, I'll we have want it laundered. We'll have a laundry and send it, send it on over. Because it may be, it might be a little small for a guy that's built like a you know, like me. And it'll fit, you know, you yeah. Yeah. since you don't work out, you know. I don't so. anymore. I haven't in a while. <laughs> in New Year's no, I get a but... turd again. That's for sure. But that was a lot of fun at your house. Yeah. Oh, I'll never forget those crab legs, even though how many beers did I have before we sat down and ate? Oh, I don't even, I lost count. I probably had six before you even showed up. And then we went through probably a couple of uh, cases, a couple of 12 packs for sure. Oh wow. my God. No, I'm mean, competition level drinking. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah. Uh, yeah. When we did that video of your collection. Yeah. I mean, oh. I was commenting the, the light. The light was very low well, in there. In my but... defense, I'm not. I don't have a YouTube channel. I'm not a professional YouTuber, so my house isn't set up for YouTube light. <laughs> this is just oh. what I need. <laughs> oh. Okay, hold on. Okay. This Go. guy is driving me to drink. Yeah, yeah. He really oh, is. Oh, that's cool. Uh, like that. got a nice little pocket yeah. flask. I got a bunch of bottles uh. of whiskey behind me. You should have left that here. Uh. Is that the only one you got, Lee, or do you got more? No. I can get more. Oh, um, I need one of those. Do you? Huh? <laughs> I got a, I got a, a Patreon guy that sent me this just to, like you know, hey, you know, just he's got a, a laser setup, so hey. he can lay, and he can laser your knife blades. He can do whatever your knife yeah. handles. He can, nice. yeah. he can do whatever cool. on yeah, whatever. Yeah. And so I thought, wow, that's, uh, I'll put his, for laser services contact, and I'll put his E. Mosley Jr., whatever, at something.com. I can't remember his email address right now. But, yeah, I mean, he's doing that. Oh, and he got me. Also, sent me a couple little shot. And then, uh, the that's little, a little funnel. I was going to ask, yeah. did you need that? No, that funnel you need to fill up the flask. If you don't have that, you're screwed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you'll yeah. never be able to so get it in there. Said, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then I already had, you know, these. So got that. Oh, that's, I got to, I got to. That. And the crown crown roll girl. Jack, that. I like Jack Daniels. Daniels. I'm a Jack Daniels fan. So I already got yeah. those. So uh, I'm kind of set up. But yeah. you know, I can chase it down with a little Coors Light. So, no. you got to put all those bottles into your flask to fill up one. No, you can't. I hope not. <laughs> that would be gross. No, nah, <laughs> no. Nah, yeah. nah. I think this this would probably fill it up, don't you think? No, that's like nah, maybe the size not. of your flask. No. Uh, but okay, so winner. And you're gonna pick a winner. We're gonna post it down below yes. on Stop. the. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 and it's yes, a yes. eutectic yes. uh, knife of your choice of color, plus a swag pack of uh, you know the koozie, and then of course the nice PV. Yeah, that glows well, in the dark. Cool. Have you tried that? I like those. 
Did you try the glow in the dark thing? Uh, you gave me one. I, I actually, I think I got a couple of them, but I didn't. I keep forgetting. I have a charge in, and I keep forgetting to go in there at night and looking. Yeah, but it does it. pretty it was, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh well. Um, okay. So, what do you got? Oh, I got. I can. I want to tell you guys about this new thing from Best Tech. It's uh, coming out on the twelfth or something like the eleventh of January. So. It comes in every color, and it comes in either aluminum or G10. And it's a button hmm. lock, 14C28N, like 52 bucks, something mm -hmm. like that, either aluminum or G10. And uh, I think this is Selena, the head person of Best Tech. I think this is her daughter, and I think her daughter's around six or seven years old, something like that. And so she likes crickets or something. So she made one that was to re resemble a cricket. I was going to say, so, it looks like that beetle. What's that little rake uh, neck knife you have? It, it looks, looks like, like the um, cicada. Cicada, yeah. Yeah, that neck Oh, that right yep. did. Yeah, it does. Yep, right. I mean, cicada, yeah. cricket, whatever. So... Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're going to be, of course, the cicada is like 250 bucks. And, that's and this like 50 is bucks? 50 bucks. So okay. yeah, big difference. Um, these will be way cool. Um, trying to figure out, they're really not set up to be carried around your neck, kind of like the cicada is, but does they, got they a have a flipper? That does, yeah. Yeah, it, a it nice looks like it's a clip. titanium. Nice. Yeah, pocket clip yeah. and if you know so actually a good little fifth pocket knife or whatever but yeah It'd comes in a little tiny box and is it upside down hold on yeah uh is that upside down i can't yep. see that it's not yeah <laughs> quee -quee. It's like uh, out but of it's, focus but it's really q u Q U, but I think it's pronounced Gigi, Shishi, something like that. So that's what it is. Is that hmm. your dog? Yeah, he's a monster. Is that, is that Roscoe or Assin? No, that's Assin Jackson. Assin Jackson. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> I mean, I misheard him when he was like. Yeah, when I first got there, and of course the dogs were trying to get used to Roseanne and I, and I thought when he said Jackson, I thought he said ass end, and so I called his dog ass end. The rest of the time. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Okay, so everybody got to know about the big hoe. Uh, <laughs> this is wow. This is a monstrosity, the Fenris. And I did contact Mike at USA Messer and Messer USA. And he goes, I go, are they going to make more of these? Or is this done? Because it says sold out and all that shit. And he goes, if I had, I mean, it is sold out. There are no immediate plans to make more of these. Um, but he says, if I had to guess. I'm thinking maybe in a year they might make some more. And if they do, they'll probably make some modifications, possibly. So this is it for now. Okay. So that's that. And of course, this is the big old plug that goes in to both, you know, lock it in both when it's closed and when it's open. And oh, can then you store the plug when it's not in use. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's it's, that's the thing. Can, I mean, you can you can always attach it to. Oh, a you can't screw to, you can't screw it in when it's closed. Oh yeah, well yeah yeah, yeah you can yeah, yeah either it. way yeah yeah, yeah either yeah. way you can that's yeah, what you meant one, right yeah just so you don't lose it. But then well, it's a pain yeah, in the yeah, ass yeah. if you want to open it, you got to unscrew it every time. Yeah, yeah. So it's a pain in the ass to have to unscrew it every time, yeah. but. Oh my God! Really? 
Uh, your pop, get out of here, popular, man. They're offering you a yeah with the uh, with this yeah with the aluminum siding people or whatever. <laughs> God only knows. That's who I'm popular with. No, and then the other one, of course, is the Valhalla that came in shortly after. Talk about two drops that came in. And then this is a, this, the Fenris is made by Best Tech, come to think of it. So segue from Best Tech to Best Tech OEM Fenris. But then this is the Valhalla, and this is made by Box Knives in Italy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so tight blue titanium. And now, how do you unlock that? Those little tabs, or yeah, these little tabs. There's a tab on this side and a All tab right. on this side, yeah, so it yeah. locks on both sides. Let's gotcha. spine whack it. Yeah. No, but um, so what I am I'm doing is I'm coming in like this on both sides and pressing yeah, these together, yeah. and then yeah. And then, of course, oh. it does this. And the thing is, this folding system is one I think that Fox Knives has the, the copyright on or whatever, this and that. Because when they did this Valhalla knife like a year and a half ago or whatever, they had got permission from Fox to do that. And, of course, now, I think it's Fox but I know that Fox is the OEM now, so they're actually making them. But, you know, six millimeter thick blade stock, 13 inches overall length, seven inch blade. But it's has Fox cool. ever done their own folder like that? Yeah, there's been a couple of other folders that have been done that mm. are not that same, Midgards. Same style? That, that were done before Midgards, yes, oh. that have that's, that's the first time a, I ever seen that. Yeah, that's cool. What, what is the steel on it? D two. It's it's D two. Okay. But um, yeah. So yes, there have been several other. And you know what? When I first got the Valhalla the first time around, year and a half ago or whatever, I did look that up or find that somewhere, and I did see a couple of knives that had been produced with that that system but uh yeah it's been a while so yeah this is interesting of course you're trying to put a huge long blade in a short handle mm -hmm. so so yeah that's how you do it you're pushing it back out this way but that that there's a dog especially since they did it in titanium it's interesting i mean obviously I mean, there's no pocket clip on this. Then again, 13 no. inches overall. Is there a yeah. I, I want to see that in your pocket <laughs> on a regular basis. On a regular I bet I basis. I can put it in there. Just, uh, oh, there you go. You don't even know it's there. It's gone. It's gone. It's disappeared. <laughs> What is there? A, huh? Yeah, I don't even know there's a knife in there. That's easy. <laughs> this one, maybe not so much, huh? Well, yeah, we're not quite so good on that one. Uh, that one's a little large. Oh, mama. But now everything else seems tiny. Now we got the grunt. T, uh, Tacom knives is been doing theirs with best tech, best tech yeah. once again uh has been the oem for the tacom knives t-a-k-c-o-m and this is called the grunt and so this is an otf but it's in oh. warncliffe or drop okay. point only you can't get it in spear point or dagger and it's really made for like to really use to really clip to your I mean first responder that kind of thing all that. Yeah, to, you see it's got that seatbelt cutter on the back. So you yeah, can use, I, know. I, I noticed that right away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't have a glass breaker, which is kind of I don't know, but yeah, uh, yeah. 
So this is plenty of handle and it's like a three inch blade, you know? And so it's enough blade and then seatbelt cutter, uh, right or left hand deep carry pocket clip. So I just thought this is interesting and there's a lot of texturing hmm. on the handle for good grip. So uh, this comes out of Miami. This is a Florida guy too, you know? So he has them OEM'd over there, but uh, that's... Yeah, he was a nice guy. We uh, we talked to him at Atlanta, yeah. the Blade Show. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. 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 He's very, very nice, and he's working hard doing a lot of stuff. And uh, uh, so this is cool, and there's extra hardware as well. So I thought I'd pull out. this out. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. The Grunt. That's... Yeah, yeah I mean... I'm more carryable than just something, I guess, uh, for self-defense only. I mean, you could really use that. So what's our next giveaway once you announce the winner of this giveaway? You decide. Maybe you want to do that uh, that knife that never got, got picked up by that guy. <clears throat> Did um, that guy ever contact you? No, but... Hmm. I put it on my next podcast, which is one I did just a couple days before the one that we did two weeks ago. So oh. I'm going to – this is the one. This Towser, okay, John, and see how that Rich works. Light. Kaiser, yeah. Yeah, and so this is getting given away here in a couple days. I'm going to do another podcast just that to Rich give light, this right? one. Or you know Rich what? Light, I can yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Actually, I could give it away on this one uh, and just announce him and not do a separate podcast. This is a guy that won this from my podcast that I did a couple days before I did with Leong. So this is the guy. Okay. And it's Matt's Trader 8956. So I will... I'll just announce it here, and then I don't have to do that other podcast follow-up. Uh, but okay, yeah. So there we are, but we haven't uh, figured out our next giveaway prize. And you know what? I was trying to figure out what it could be. And uh, you know what? I think that Dimitri, the Diamichi uh, with uh, Fag Knives, in uh, Damascus. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. And so I think that's going to be our next one. In fact, yes, it will be. The Diamichi from Beg Knives will be our next giveaway. Because life doesn't come pre-sliced. So there you go. Diamichi is going to be the next one. Giveaway when we do our next podcast. And we will announce the winner for that. So to, to sign up for that, you have to put a comment in the comment section of mine or yours, Leon. Well, since it's yours, then put the comment section in yours. Okay. And I would appreciate it if you put a comment section in mine too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see that you got like, 34 comments on the last one. Yeah. So, I mean, for the guys watching, just be aware that, yeah, I mean, there's not that many people signing up. Uh, so well, I'm just wondering if people like are having trouble finding this channel. I had to find your link and go to it because I typed it in in the search and it wouldn't come up. Mm. Oh, it, you have to, yeah. There was like hundreds of videos that everybody doing of a review, but I couldn't find his channel. Yeah. Yep. You can't yeah. find my channel? Well, oh, nope. I, I did now because I used Lee's link from, uh, but if you search it, put it in a search, it's, you're going to go down a rabbit hole. It's hard to find. Yeah, it is hard to find. Because when you type in Leong Ma for the channel, uh -huh. uh, maybe you should have to type in Leong Ma design or something like that. Because if you type in Leong Ma, well, there's it's a billion a after videos review, of, yeah. All yeah. kinds of knives, you know, so. No, I never even thought of that. Yeah, type, go look for your channel sometime. It's not easy to find. Jeez, okay. Mm -hmm. 
that's not even something I think about because it's like, oh yeah, people could be could find me, but then there, there's all these videos on on my stuff, right? And even like stuff from CRKT way back when, you know? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was looking for the other day too, just to see what kind of comments or to see if you had posted the podcast yet. And it was like, oh wow, I didn't realize. So I mean, thank God I had the link, right? So I yeah, just yeah. Used my that's own the only link. way I found it. Yeah. So how yeah. to differentiate my channel from all the other people out there? That would be a good question that if one of you guys are watching this and is an avid, avid YouTuber, please fill me in how to really bring out my channel so that it's searchable for someone. You, I don't know. Maybe you could modify your channel name like Leong Ma Designs. I mean, is, is that what it's called? Yeah, Leong Ma Design. Yeah. Yeah, put okay. that at the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just okay. make sure that that it, when people try and find you, they put in Leong Ma Designs. That will mm. definitely cut down the number of places they would have to go or the results they'd get in the search. Okay. That makes sense. Probably. That makes a lot of sense. But, yeah, yeah either that or use my link below. But you're right. I mean, yeah, it's not yeah. easy to just put in Leong Ma and it pops up and I can go to your channel like it is. If I want to go to Metal Complex, well, boom, you know, right, or right, right. whatever. Right. So, yeah, or Birdshot or whatever. So, I guess it is kind of, because it's like, okay, there's only one, like like you said, Metal Complex. So There's only one, right? Yeah. So, you, you is, and it's not like he, he has designs out there that people are like, oh, yeah, Metal Complex design. Yeah. Or Birdshot, you know, Birdshot, that's, that's you know, the, the couple, and they, they, they're not like you're not searching for like their work or their designs and stuff. You're searching for their channel when you put their it first channel. On. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's kind of different. And and now I see that it's the first time I, I actually heard of it. But it's like, yeah, if you if you are a YouTuber and you can help me really set my channel apart apart from what we just said, I would appreciate it if you reach out to me. Yeah, I mean, put a comment in his uh, under this podcast on his channel. Yeah. If you can find it. Yeah. <laughs> First, find his channel, then tell him how best to find his channel. <laughs> and that if your works. answer is really great, you know, uh, I'll reach back out to, with you. Uh, and, and I'll send, send you, you a patch. I'll send you a, a, patch, a couple of stickers. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um and a gigantic uh I can't boot think. bottle of Crown Royale. Hey, do you got the, this you oh, the Mamba. Purple, purple velvet bag that it comes with? Mamba? No, the purple. Were you, no, you the were crown checking Royale. this out, remember? Ooh, that looks yeah, good. Yeah, that's nice. It's uh Moku tie there and Moku tie there, and Ooh, that looks good. So, so this is a lot like the Mammoth, right? No, not the mammoth. The uh, Goliath, right? The Goliath from uh, Max Ace. But Max the Goliath Ace from Max Ace it. was like 10 inches or something. It was huge. And this is 8 inches, whatever. It's, yeah, very edc ball. And then with the Moku Tai and then with the carbon fiber. And I know that White Mountain is sitting on some. They've got still in stock. So, and I think there's... Moku tie around the pivot. Oh yeah, pivot collar. Yep. Okay, so I think when they do it so small because you can't even see it, they need to do a fatter pivot collar. Yeah, it's interesting. I thought, I mean, this is lighter, easier to carry and stuff, and that's, I like that's the I like you, Lee. That's all huh? I like. What you what you normally? Would I know, carry. I know, I know. What yeah, are you doing? But. Got to sign up, uh, go get you a Eutectic off my website, and then you get a swag pack. Get the swag pack with the big glow-in-the-dark sticker, the koozie, uh, and then you get a channel sticker and all that in the swag pack. If you buy a Eutectic, and you can buy one in any color you want, because we got five different colors, I believe. Six. 
Oh my okay, God. six different colors. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, I'm looking around. I'm almost out of ideas, except for you could always go to White Mountain Knives, and they've got a few of these left, and get uh, get the LTK result. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do another video. Yeah, there you go. On this one, because I never did a disassembly on the final factory production one. I Apparently, I, the disassembly I did was on a proto, oh, but yeah. it wasn't a final. So I'm, I'm going to do that. Plus, so, it'll give me an excuse to throw it back up on the channel and one yeah, of the no. things I really like the way you they, they did this is, is the clip. The clip is uh yeah in the backspacer. Mm -hmm. So it's very deep in pocket. Yeah, you, you keep know? getting deeper than that. Yeah. And I like it, I like it a lot. And it's so it's, it feels good. It's feel good. There was a lot of conversation about, you know, when you bend titanium like this, you're gonna have some failure rate, yes, breakage and stuff. Yeah. So and, and but I uh, said, sometimes a, a fractured I, titanium, but they did a good job on this. Yeah, I wanted to make it left-hand friendly, maybe bent over too far to, to do that. But, uh, okay. And probably should have waited another year until everybody finally got on board with the fat carbon deal, and I could have done that. But, you know, you, live, you learn from your experiences, although you could probably knock all these out and put some fat carbon inserts in there. And you need to go to, not sharp by design, Sean, <laughs> but sharp dress knives. Oh, sharp I'm never gonna live knives. that one down. Oh God. You'll never live you, that you, one you, down, ever. You, you confused the two, Sean? Uh, at, yeah, at I your... was uh, half in the bag doing a, doing a knife show and tell of my collection. And I called the, uh, Sharp by design, sharp dress knives. <laughs> sharp dress knives. That was close. But it's close. It's close. Shit. Okay. I mean, you did better than me. Well, you know, now with, with how yeah, you didn't how catch it. You didn't save me. knife brands, it's kind of hard to like tell all the brands. Oh, there's so many. It's like, oh man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can go to Sharp Dress Knives. You know, I'm I should get a hold of him and send him one of my LTK result knives and just see if he can carve these out or pop them out and put some fat carbon in there. See what that would be like. That might be kind of interesting. Do yeah, you, I thought about do you doing it. this one solid piece underneath. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'd like to take out the lines and just do one solid chunk, but I don't know if it would hold them. I don't know how you would do it. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, is it, um, is, do you know if these uh, yeah, are know. glued in or is it like? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I know there's little holes behind every it's insert. In. It's glued in. Do you, know so why, might do you know why the little hole is there? So you can pop out the inserts. Oh, you stick something through it to push it? Yeah, you stick something through it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's glued in. wonder how strong the glue is. It's strong enough. Yeah. It's strong so enough. you're not going to be able to pop them out. You can pop them out, but it's a, it's almost like a... It's going to be like a, almost like an enamel type of glue. Because uh, I've had some knives with React use the same type of glue that, uh, and they had they had a hole back there, and it was just because sometimes, uh, you know, people mess up, and then they want to be able to take the insert out, and then they, you just strip out all the glue, and sometimes right. even like really like with sandpaper go back into the, yeah. into the pockets to be able to remove all the glue stuff out, you know. So yeah, you could you could do it, and then. Um, Put in new inserts, but because you got five inserts on each side, it would be a pain. Yeah, it would be a pain in the ass. It's, it's a little difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't care. It wouldn't be a pain in my ass. It'd be a pain in the ass for sharp dressed knives. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be way cool if he did it. Or you could just do a V2 and do it right. <laughs> you know what? You know what you need, Sean? You need to show your Jack Wolf. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet. 
he 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 broke his thing on yours and mine he started mine first he broke his little skull punch you know they make those little baby skulls the embossing yeah I he broke you it he had yours you posted no, it fuck, no no he, he started ago. mine and then, and then he moved over to yours because apparently you're uh you know the YouTube star, so he put me what? on the back burner. Did yours, yeah, yeah. and now I still haven't gotten mine. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I saw pictures of yours like a month before I ordered mine. Oh, I showed you pictures of the one he did for Jack Wolf from Ben. Ben. Yeah. And I just told oh. him to copy that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought that was yours. No, that was his, and I just saw it, and I said I want the same one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful. He did a hell of a job. I like the smell of leather in the morning. Yeah. Smells like victory. And you know what? Hey, and he's got two snaps here. Like, snap, snap. And uh, that's if it gets battered. He had, to, he had to build that thing twice for you. Yeah, he did. And, yeah. and there's knives. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Yeah. And then Mine's over the here. You put your business cards, like this is his sage grouse, <clears throat> handmade, yeah. rugged, for rugged living. Nice. And you get your iPad in there too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or your laptop or whatever. And yeah. you know what? You don't have to put it in this pocket. You can just put it in here, in this, yeah. and snap it, and it'll be in the middle. Uh, but also, you know, stickers up here if you want, you know, that kind of thing. Or you got beautiful work, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. But it's that's nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's not I, I didn't really consider it that expensive considering all no, the little no for handmade. No, no, it's not. It's very reasonable. I mean, he's doing everything. Uh, yeah. He can't. I mean, this is all the dyeing work and all the stamping and all the pattern. And, you know, I just sent him a picture of that, of that thing, you know, of my, and he, he went from there. Nice. Yeah. I didn't even think wow. about doing that. I'm probably going to have to get one of those now. too. <laughs> the love them knives. Uh, that is beautifully done, though. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. And you know what? He says, oh, I can't do these blades. Like, And then he did. Yeah. So he made them distinct and stick out and all oh, that. He and killed your logo on that for sure. Yeah, he did. I mean, wow. Uh, Shot Show. Shot how show. how right. many days? Less than three weeks, Leon Less will be in weeks, Vegas. I'll be, I'll be leaving here on the 21st. So I'll be there. Yeah. Sunday to Saturday. Are you going in on Sunday? No, no, nobody's going in on Sunday, but I'm flying in on Sunday because Monday's just yeah, that's what I'm mess. saying. Monday's gonna be like it doesn't start till Tuesday, though, does it? Airport. Doesn't start till Tuesday. We're flying in on Sunday. There's probably seven miles worth of aisles. No, I mean, no, no. between it that and Caesars or more. 60, mi 60 oh, yeah. miles. Is it that much? Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Vegas a bunch of times, but not for that. Yeah. And it's like all these like rows and and uh, if you don't write down the booth number of something that you found interesting, trying to find it again, find it again, right? Would yeah. be a little tough, you know. <sighs> yeah. And then the problem is going around the aisles and stuff. Yeah. I mean, people are constantly stopping to look at something, and then they're talking to other people, so they're blocking, and you're 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 going like this. I mean, you're going, and then. Yeah, I mean, just blockades, and sometimes you get some wide open, but blockades, and oh my God, it's just insane. It's insane. Yeah. And there's the lower level, then the main level, and then and the Caesar Forum. Like there's two other upper levels, even in Venetian. And well, the, then, the, the, the top level was for like the newbies, the new people. Yeah, the newbies. In. And so there were newbies. I mean, Best Tech was up there at one point in time. Yeah, and I was up there at one point. And then there was like a, 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 a maker, a, a production showcase or something where people can buy supplies like my yep. car, yep. all the other stuff. 
and then the, the main level was was like where it's like basically like the anchor stores in the mall like so you have like the big gun manufacturers like you know winchester and all these other guys Ruger, Smith that have like you know their their booth is like hundreds of thousands of dollars you know, oh god that, oh god right and then the big companies are up there like CRKT, Spyderco, Kershaw, Benchmade, they're all up there, you know, and Gerber. Gerber. And and then like the basement used to be for like the new people. And you know, CRKT was up there, was down there for a long time. And then that was like the spot where everybody knew, right? Because you're kind of like taking a chance. Because if you're there for a while and everybody knows everywhere, hey, you're at this booth, you don't actually want to just like change locations. So they took a gamble and they 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 went upstairs and it's paid off for them. But it's like once people know that you're in one location, you kind of want to stick to that location. Yeah, in every area. Yeah. And then la last year or the year before, they opened up Caesar Forum, which was the behind. Yeah. And it's actually, you know, people are taking a gamble to go there. Uh, Chris Reeves are over there. And it's like they love it there because it's like the lighting is it's all like new lighting. Protex over there, yeah. Spartans over there yeah. with uh, K Bar and uh, yeah, I mean yeah, Chris Reeve. Uh, there's a bunch of people over there now. So it's like they they took a chance to go over there because it's a brand new spot, you know, brand new location. And they're like, hey, we were in the basement. Why not go over there? Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah. In season, is this a separate hotel or it's in the same place? It's it's basically you have to walk outside of the Venetian and, and then you cross this little bridge and then you go into it's the a bridge. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in, in into the Caesars Forum, like yeah. in the into their, uh, yeah, Building. into their area of having you know for for uh, yeah. and back trade there show, used trade to be. Show for. It used to be like the Venetian parking lot for employees or something. Something like that. It was like a huge parking lot. And then they were like, why are we just using this as a parking lot? Why don't we build something on it? So now they're, yeah, they built that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a fun time. It's a fun time. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's exhausting. It is exhausting to be out there. But it's like, because I don't enjoy Vegas as much as other people. Yeah. No, I don't really enjoy Vegas that much either. I guess for what I'm doing when I'm there now, I I mean, <clears throat> it's okay because I don't do anything in the casinos, right? I just walk through them if I have to. But other than that, I don't. But, I mean, it's nice to be for the restaurants, yeah. the activity, the hotels. Obviously, it's convenient. Because there's so much hotel capacity. Yeah. 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 And, and the thing is, there isn't another town that's like similar to that. There may be that I don't know yeah. about. But it's like the, the thing that you can have a huge venue with, you know, a, a lot of people. And then to be able to, you know, when the venue is over, to go out and have all these restaurants, have all this entertainment, have all access to all the stuff. That's that's you know not a lot of cities can can do that. Well, know? what's nice is just meeting people that you yeah. know in the industry and hooking up with them for happy hour and restaurants and stuff yeah. like that. After you see them at the show and this and that, and you know what, they're gonna have that after dark series of stuff. So now they have mm -hmm. they have realized that there's there's uh, a need for for people to uh, what uh, communicate to get together, yeah. right? Well, uh, that, that's the thing. Like you know, all this and stuff so they're going to about building connections, right? And and really yes. continue to build these connections. And so that's why they have these shows, you know. And and yeah. you know, you, you could have a great product, but if you don't have a way to get it out there or get the word out there, you know. There's no point to having a great product. Yeah. And so after the show shuts down, people can migrate out of both Caesars and Venetian into this center area no. where the bridge goes across to both sides. But they, they they've they've got um you know awnings and stuff set up out there and 
And so they set up an entertainment venue out there. And so they're going to have those bands that are some celebrity stuff at the first night, I think. I mean, they're going to start like Tuesday night and then Wednesday and Thursday nights. They're also going to have social Mm -hmm. hours out there after the show. So you can just, you don't have to like try and figure out who you're going to meet where afterwards you can go out there and you have this place where you can network and socialize with other people at the show and they'll have, you know, food and, and drinks and everything and entertainment and stuff like that. Yeah. And so they kind of started that last year, but this year's supposed to be like better. Be so awesome. we'll see. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be great because then the, the show is over and I got done drinking all the Heineken from the uh, from that Ruger place because I'll just go into those booths. I mean, those areas. They've got a huge area, right? Ruger, Smith & Wesson. So they have this portable bar rolled in near the end, like 4 o'clock or whatever because they shut down at 5. And so about 3.45 or something, they'll have it all set up with Stella and, and you know, Heineken and shit. And so you walk in like, you know somebody like, hey, yeah, I'm the Lee, shit. Yeah, Lee, you you got to go in there with that red shirt, and then they're gonna be like, it's that guy with the red shirt again. Damn it! Gonna drink all all Heineken. <laughs> he sucked down half the keg last no, you night. Gotta, you got to yeah. bring multiple shirts so you can change so they don't recognize you and kick you out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear a different costume. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I've got the Duck Dynasty beard thing from Halloween. I'm gonna wear that. Yeah. But then, oh. see, they don't yeah. know. They don't yeah, know you, enough. and you don't know them, and they have no idea, right? <laughs> and so, and so you go in there, and the bartender guy, he's just a rent a bartender thing from the casino, whatever. Right. He doesn't know who's supposed to get drinks and who's not. So you go up. Yes, I'll have a Stella, please. And so you just start drinking free beer, like for at least an hour before the, yeah, yeah. And uh, in fact, my phone was about flat. I mean, from doing videos and this and that, and I was, I was wiped out. And so I went over, they had the seating area with couches and stuff and tables. So I go sit down there and I've got my phone plugged in because they've all got USB like outlets and stuff. So I'm doing that and I'm trying to look at video I took and just trying to relax. And I snuck a beer off the thing. And this guy was going around the corner with a big cart with food. And he goes, hey, um, are you interested in some food? And I go, yeah. He goes, hey, I got a whole bunch. I'm just rolling back to the kitchen. Because uh, there's a whole bunch of sandwiches and stuff that never got touched or eaten or anything. And so he served me off the cart. Hey, I'll give you this and here this. You're like the luckiest this. guy, man. People are paying like 15 bucks for one of those cold sandwiches. I'm sorry. Do you have the hollandaise sauce that goes with this, my man? <laughs> oh, my God. It was so funny. He got... I go, I don't have any silver. I've got extra silverware and napkins. Don't worry about it. Just leave it there when you're done. And Oh, my, oh my God. Wow. We love you. Man. Like, oh, man. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> leave, but leave, that's leave. a fun thing. Sean would like that. I mean, at the end, I mean, yeah. he's into guns big time, right? So, I mean, he can hit the gun booths, like, start talking smack with him. John, oh, yeah. If, oh, yeah. If, By if the way, Jeeves, I'll want, have a Stella. They will ship it to your FFL. You know, oh, yeah. Sure. They, yeah. Will, they, are, they are there to do sales. They, they cannot yeah. sell you the gun there directly, obviously. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I get you know, it. All right. You can, you can, but that's a good thing. You can talk know. smack, you know, mm -hmm. but they can't sell you anything, so they don't know. If you're right. a poser or whatever, but they know one thing, you know how to steal their beer. <laughs> if you got the green, they want to do business with you. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure. So you can go, yes, I am uh, Sean Incorporated, a big bunch of gun stores up and down the West Coast of, nah, they, they don't care. They're all there to have fun 
and show yeah. off their products anyhow. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, you know, I, you'd I have know a good so time there, though. Makers were like, yeah, I'm open. Up I'm open. Yeah. yeah. See some of those Smith & Wesson guns that have diamonds and 14 karat gold all encrusted and stuff, and they're like $55,000 or something. And, and both yeah, of them were already my, bought. Uh, they were already gone. With my knives, I like some of the bougie knives, but guns, I, I'm not really into that. I just, I like them basic, utilitarian. So. But it's pretty impressive to see what they can do for right. custom work. And there's a lot of yeah. custom guys there, you know, doing yeah. their, you know, showing yeah. off their custom work and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. wow. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, you can't cover that place Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. You can't That's cover it in four days. And, no and way. Not is, with any. When you walk in there on Monday, I mean, most of it is not even close to being set up. You see, like, boxes and crates that are coming in that the trucks yeah. are, are bringing in, the crates. And you're like. No, I get it. In my, in my industry, I've done a bunch of trade shows, and I've actually had to go and set up, too. I get how it goes. So, yeah. Oh, okay. It yeah. is amazing seeing it from. You know, at midnight the night before, you go in and it's a disaster. And then 10 the next morning, it's all done. Yeah. yeah. And it's just yeah, like, they're literally yeah. laying carpet at night and doing the lighting and everything. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then once we're done on Friday, like by around like two o'clock, it gets torn down. It starts right. getting torn down. You see people breaking down their own booth and whatever, rolling yep. stuff up. Yeah. Yep. Crazy stuff. But from my perspective, Friday's a good day to do some videos oh, because yeah. it's it's a low down it's a low day and a lot of people are starting to break down and stuff. And so they're done. So if ProTech was swamped, you know, with people to talk to, and they're talking to distributors, retailers, you know, they're I mean, they're not customers, but they obviously because they can't sell anything, but they, they they're busy with meetings and stuff like that so but they have time then you know and yeah. so they could sit down with me and say here's our here's our new we got a couple new models coming out blah 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 and so i got time to actually do a real interview video with them and that's the thing about shot that i love is i can do that they got time because at you go to the blade shows there's people five deep at the booth. Like, I want, I want right. this. I want. No, you can't buy anything there. So, yeah. so I can go and go, and and even the manufacturers are like, are you coming by? If you do, do you want to do a video, and that'd be great. And we'll, you know, so yeah. that yeah, yeah, that's great. And that's the way to plan out the show, you know, and, and be able to put it together in your calendar, so you know who you're going to when, and hopefully be able to do what it is you yeah, want. Yeah, and I need to start doing that because I've yeah. only got less than three weeks. I need to start contacting them and setting up my schedule. Like if I'm going to go to QSP and if I'm going to go to Rike and I'm going to go to Wii and I'm going to do Best Tech and yeah. You better, I you better clear out the, the space in your phone for all those videos you have to do. Yeah, yeah, that's not usually a problem. That's not usually a problem. <laughs> But yeah, I get you. Yeah, I have to get all the porn wiped off. You know, take all the porn <laughs> videos off. Uh, uh, hey, Lee, I got maybe uh, five, ten minutes. I got to jump, jump off here. So. We gotta go. You gotta go work. I gotta start uh, making dinner. Oh, oh you are watching gonna be home any minute and be upset if dinner's not uh, in the oven. I got video of him cooking. Uh, isn't that weird? I didn't realize I had. Filmed you doing that, right? Did you? Oh know yeah, that? Was, uh, that's like a semi-confession. He's like, you were working on the. Uh, I didn't realize that. Prime rib, prime rib. Yeah. Yeah, and I. How'd you like I it? Mean, Came out pretty good. I, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that yeah, prime rib good. idea was a great idea, by the way. With I, I, I went and picked up two prime ribs from Publix. Oh, do you? Yeah. 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 Five, five to six ninety nine a pound. You can't beat it. Yeah. No, yeah, cannot be there. I took about four pounds of it and I ground it up. I ground it up to make really high end, like a uh, burger type meat. It would be awesome because I've had prime rib ground up 
Jack the Grail. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, and you can also make them into like a roadkill steak where you put uh, yes. mushrooms and green pepper and onion on top of them and yeah, 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 put yeah. some gravy and that kind of stuff. It's they're awesome. Yeah, it's good quality. Well, it for ribeye, if you cut it up, you could. I usually buy a huge one and I'll cut it up in a bunch of steaks and vacuum seal them individually and seal it. Yeah, seal it up in the freezer. Well, well Roseanne was so impressed with your blackstone. Oh yeah, she likes that. Yeah. Oh god, she got the best thing I ever get. bought. I love it. Yeah. I mean, when your wife goes, we need to get yeah, there you a go. girl like that. It's like, <laughs> what? Yeah. what? What? There what? you go. She's what? telling you. You got the permission. Yeah. I'm going, bing, I'm there. Um, yeah, you'll have to text me your the model number because yeah. there's so many different. There's so many different ones. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll tell you all the, there's a bunch, of, it's really easy, but the key is to season it. It's just like cast iron. So every time you cook it, you wipe it down with water, no soap, and then you oil it. I I like avocado oil because that's high. See, I saw you that's using good. some oil on it. That avocado makes, oil, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. That's a high heat oil too. High heat, yeah. Yeah. So, well, but go get did, cooking, yeah. Sean. What are you making? Uh, stuffed peppers. Oh, nice. Wow. Really? Yeah. yeah. So there's a good, there's something you can use ground beef for, right? Yeah. 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 And my mom like, used to make up stuffed peppers. Yeah. Ribeyes. Are you talking about green peppers? The yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, I got green, yellow, orange. Wow. Yeah. Have all the pretty colors for the woman. He's, I would have been happy with the green. It's all fancy here. Wow. Mm. That's awesome. Oh, he got a whole bunch of different herbs out. He was doing the chef. Chup, 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 do you have a sous vide, Sean? Boot, boot. A sous vide machine? No, I know I, what that is, and I uh, wanted to get one. I've never tried it, but I'd it like to get one. It is great. It's great is it, for yeah. steaks. Yeah, because you don't have to you, like you, you just let it. You can let it go all day at that one temperature. You can forget yeah. it, walk about, walk away, and then you just revert sear it, right? Yeah, that's what you're doing. Love, I love my sous vide machine. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. keep it like way below like a medium rare because once mm -hmm. you sear it, I mean, the sear will pick up the temperature really quickly. Right. Right. So. Um, I do it at like, you know, below uh, medium rare, and it is tender. The seasoning yeah. goes through the meat. Yeah. Uh, so, like, if you if you season your meat with salt and pepper and whatever, you would taste you it. You see it in the bag with the seasoning, and then you put it in yeah. the hot water, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you would taste the salt all the way through the meat, which is yeah. unlike just putting the seasoning on top of the meat. You Correct. Know? Yeah. So, um, I love it. You know, yeah, I got to get one. And they're mm -hmm. cheap. They're so cheap. Yeah, now. yeah, hundred bucks or something on Amazon. Yeah. yeah. So that, if the, if you want to get yourself a gift, get that one. Yeah, you know? I, I need to. I need to. Especially if you if you like uh, cooking steaks. Oh, you know? I, two or three times a week I cook steak. Yeah. yeah. I can yeah. see why Crystal likes to live in there because she's <laughs> like, uh, I come home from work at the dermatology mm -hmm. office, and Sean's got, what do you got today? Whatever yeah. it is, <laughs> Chateaubriand, Hollandaise sauce, a lightly toasted uh, uh, asparagus, and you know he 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 can do that shit. Hey, I was forced into it. I was uh, hoping for the other way around when we got together, but it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Happy, happy woman, happy, happy life, right? I suppose, yeah. I suppose that's right. <laughs> well, it's not like you get to eat at home a lot because you're gone so no, I'm much. Always, I'm always on the road, yeah. So, I mean, when you get to get home, that's not when you want to go out to eat because you're going out yeah, to right. eat the whole damn week, you know? That's for sure. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. So, yep. when you get home, you get to cook at home and you use your grill and all your yeah. stuff and yeah, like make it. what you like want. It. And the shit yep. you can make at home is oh, five times better anybody. than what you can do. Yeah. I hate going out and spending more. I'll, I'll never buy a steak out at a steakhouse. It's, I mean, unless I go to like Ruth Chris, maybe. But other than that, it's all crap. And it's like, I'll make yeah. it 10 You'll times better. You'll have to give me the location of where you got your crab legs. But those crab legs, I'm sure mm -hmm. they are extremely expensive. Oh, they're expensive. Those, yeah. 
those Alaskan. Yeah, I think they go like 70, 80 bucks a pound. Yeah. Oh, my like God. Yeah. I must have <laughs> ate a pound of them. Oh, yeah. You did. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there was. Really? I mean, we, and all oh, I got was had... a shirt. I got a shirt. All you got was a shirt? <laughs> what? Uh, you got a shirt and yeah. a koozie, and I got $100 I dollars a worth of freaking crap. A shirt and a koozie? No. Oh, wow. uh, oh, my God. And then we took back all our prime rib that didn't get eaten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that yeah. you you brought the prime rib. I'll give you that. You brought it. Yeah, yeah. You okay. did. You put it in a thing and hand it to my. Wife. I didn't even know she had it. But she gets home and I go, okay. I think I'm gonna do a sandwich. Oh, you can have a prime rib sandwich. Sean says that's what I did the next rib. day. I, those little pink oh. Hawaiian buns. Yeah, they're great on that. The next wow. day, that yep. looked it looked so like a furry good. animal by the time he got done putting the stuff on the prime rib. There was mm. a lot of seasonings and stuff. But then it's just in the oven at a high temperature for not very long. 500. Sh shut it off. Five minutes per it. pound and then shut it off for two hours. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> See, that's not the way I I've I've done it ever before. So I'm gonna have to switch gears mm. and do it like he did it. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Well, you call me over when you do it, Lee. Okay. And both. Yeah, of us I will. will I'll call you over the day after I do it. I see how that works. You see, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I went to visit him. Oh, I, I did get a t shirt. Oh, I did get a t shirt. I was going to say, I didn't even get a stinking t shirt, but I did get a t shirt. Damn, I can't use that line. <laughs> I took you to Cowboys Watering um, Hole. Cowboys Watering Whew. Hole. That was good. That was oh, good that money. was good. They they can do steaks. They can, they're okay. They're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to take you up there sometime, Sean, when you come over. Yeah. That's a, uh, I was That's supposed to go question. that one. I don't know what happened, but I think I got called to work at the last minute. But yeah, I got to go over and you're talking about that barbecue joint. It's like, That's good too. It's like a big bar. That's good oh, too. Yeah. But this yeah. one's called the watering hole. It's cowpokes watering hole or something like that. Yeah. But I mean, it's got an outdoor tiki bar thing. That's all connected. This is a bar beach. Restaurant. No, or, this in is area? in Seabring. Yeah, Seabring. In Seabring. Oh, this is in your neck of the woods. Oh, yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, me. I thought you were talking about uh, going Palm Beach. Uh, yeah, just 15 miles up the road from my house. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good. I yeah. mean, their food is good. All right. All right. All right. Next time. We'll see you. Later. Happy hour. Bye.